Hello and welcome to a full body routine designed for women on the Bowflex. My name is Eric. I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm going to be working out here on a Bowflex PR 1000, but this routine can be done on any flat bench style Bowflex. We're going to be running all of our lifts through this bottom set of pulleys here using the normal Bowflex handles. And uh, I'm also going to be using a yoga mat for one of the exercises in this routine. We're going to be kind of in this plank position for mountain climbers. And uh, I like being, you know, have my hands up against something a little softer than the concrete floor beneath me. But that's totally optional and up to you. So we've got eight different exercises in this routine. And there's going to be a little bit more emphasis on these exercises to hit the muscle groups that women want to tend to hit more. So when we're working our legs, there's going to be a little bit more emphasis on the glutes and the hips. And then when we're working our upper body, we're gonna have more emphasis on the back of our arm and our triceps, and we're also gonna be hitting our back a little bit more. Less emphasis on the biceps, chest, and shoulders because, well, that's gonna give us the time to hit those other muscle groups. So all of our lifts, 12 reps per set for most of these. There's gonna be a couple where I deviate and tell you just to work out to the clock, and that's this clock right behind me here. We're gonna have work intervals and rest intervals that vary a little bit throughout today's routine, but. I think this will all be really easy to follow along as long as you're watching the video with audio here. There'll be previews of the lifts. I'll be coaching it through everything and this is gonna be real simple and hopefully you'll have fun with it. So uh, if you're looking for a little more structure too, be sure to check out my program that I'm releasing on the channel. I think it's gonna go live the day this video goes live called Bowflex for Women. And that program is gonna help you structure your routines, tell you frequency to do these, and also kind of give you a goal to you know complete the Bowflex for Women program if that's something that, that you feel like might help you out. Um, also purchasing it supports me directly, so that helped me out too. So um, before we go any further, we are gonna have a little four minute warm up, and we're gonna get stretched out and then we're gonna rack up our resistance. So I hope you have fun with today's routine. I'll see you right back. Let's go doing some jogging in place or you do some high knees, just trying to get warmed up so we can get a nice stretch going. And while we're doing this, let me tell you about today's lifts. Our first lift is gonna be a really dynamic lift called squat to press. And you could do a chest press or a shoulder press from this. And then from there, we're going into a horizontal squat. I used to call this a glute drop, but it works our quads a lot too. So I'm looking for a better name for this lift. If you got one, post in the comments below. Then we're gonna do a seated cross row after that, working our back and do a tricep kick back up next. Really isolate the back of our arms. And then from there, we're going to mountain climbers. That's a lift I mentioned in the intro. After that, a good old bicep curl. Just two sets of these, just a little bit of work there. Pull over crunch after that, hit those abs, and finally, we're moving into a wide lat raise. And we're gonna be doing that one a little bit differently. Just something to kind of shake up how things wind down. Speaking of winding down, let's slow this jog down. We're gonna just go into some full head rotations here. We're just gonna do this for 20 seconds. So after 10, we'll change directions. And let's do that now. We're just doing a nice full spin here. Just loosen up that neck. Okay, next we're moving into chest flutters here. So stretch your arms all the way out and then just kind of flap them back and forth. Get a nice squeeze in your back here. So you kind of flap your wings here. Loosen up your chest, your back, your shoulders all together here. And then we're gonna move into an elbow pull above our head or across our body here. Loosen up our tricep a lot. And now let's switch sides. And then after this, we're gonna move into a body weight squat here. So let's transition into that. Now we're gonna put our arms out in front of us, drop down nice and low, and then raise up out of it. And just go as low as you can comfortably go. And as you drop down, try not to lean forward. Leaning forward puts a lot of pressure on your knees and your ankles. So try to drop almost straight down here. Have your shins almost point straight up and down and raise up out of this. Let's do one more, and we're just moving to a quad stretch. So pull this leg back here, stretch out this quad, 
And you can lean up against something if you need to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides here. We're just holding this for about 10 seconds or so on each side. And then we're gonna move into a lunge and reach here. So I'm gonna be stepping out in front of me here, raise these arms up, open them up to the sky, and really get a nice stretch going. You don't need to lunge all the way down, that's okay. Let's switch sides here. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then we're gonna raise up and you can do whatever you want for the last 10 seconds. I always like ending things here on a forward fold. You could stretch your fingers out and your forearms, whatever you need. All right, let's go. Let's rack up our resistance here. And for our weight settings, I have a few different recommendations. I'm gonna be racking up 80 pounds of power rods on both sides, which is a lot for this lift. Um, a medium weight setting, even kind of a heavy weight setting, still could be 50 pounds of power rods. You could go 30 or even 20 pounds of power rods for this. So first thing you'll notice is I removed the bench here and I am gonna then bring this in the sliding position, bring it all the way up. So it's almost up against the tower here. So, Again, I'm doing a really heavy weight setting for this at 80 pounds of power rods, but we're all at our own levels and do what feels good to you. So for this first lift, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a squat to press here. And I like doing two squats in a row and then two presses. So it's gonna look like this where we go squat, squat, and then press, press. Now, as you do this, as you squat, you're gonna to have to lean forward and press away from the tower because otherwise the, uh, the cables are just gonna pull you right back into the tower. And then as you press, you're gonna to wanna to exhale as you press out and then just try to slowly retract the weight. So a lot of people are gonna struggle with the chest press more than the squat, but let's just get right into it here. So squat, squat, press, and press. So as I was saying, if you know, the goal is to be able to complete this full set here, both exercises, and uh, if you need to drop the weight, do so on the next set here. Just try to stick with me, and that might mean doing all squats here, that's all right. Okay, 30 seconds, so adjust that weight setting if you need to do so. Otherwise, you're gonna join me here again. When that clock hits about five seconds, I'm gonna want you in position. Now, another thing you can do is you could also, instead of having these handles underneath your hands, you could also have them over your hands and turn this into a shoulder press. That's what I'm gonna do here. You can keep doing chest press, this is up to you. So. We're gonna go still a squat, squat, and then press and press. Squat, squat, press and press. Now I'm gonna stop talking here because I would normally count these reps, but I don't know how to count these. Exhale as you're pressing though. And you should be exhaling as you're standing up. Okay. One more set of those. And then we're gonna go into those horizontal squats. Hopefully you're starting to Feel nice and warmed up, your body all loose. This is a really dynamic exercise here. 
designed to, to get that heart rate up here at the start of this routine. So again, let's get into squat, squat. And I'm gonna keep doing shoulder presses here. Yeah, 20 more seconds of this lift. And then things are gonna shift a little bit more to a, a traditional weightlifting style where this is a really cardio type of exercise here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna move into these horizontal squats. And depending on how comfortable you are with this lift, you might wanna have this seat right behind you and you're gonna sit down on it or you can have it without the seat behind you. Now, I'd encourage everybody to increase the resistance on this. Actually, everybody should put at least 80 pounds of power rods on right now because you need these power rods as a counterbalance. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here with my feet kind of barely at the edge of this platform. I'm gonna pull these handles back and then I'm gonna do this drop here. And when I do this drop, I want my knees basically staying Okay, let's join me here. I want my shins basically pointing straight up and down. And that's one. Oh, that's two there. This is three. Four, go deliberately really slowly here. This is five. Six. This is really gonna engage your quads and your glutes here. I'm up to eight now. We're targeting 12, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So really you wanna be really deliberate in that slow drop and raise up out of it. Again, you can be falling down onto the seat here if, if you're worried about uh, having that full range of motion. And here we come down to about five seconds left. Let's get in position team. Now let's pull those handles back a bit. And now let's drop. That's one. Two. If your machine is sliding around, you need to be standing on the plate. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Control through this whole motion. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. There we go. All right, one more. And then we're going to take a little bit of a break from our legs and go into a seated cross row after this. So we're gonna be putting our bench back together after this lift here. All right, in position, arms back and slow drop and raise it up. This is two and three. Four. Now, if you have a better name for this lift, this is five. Let me know in the comments. Six, seven. I used to call this lift a glute drop. Eight, but you're probably feeling it in your quads about now. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. There we go. So let's put our bench back together, lock our seat in place. And we're gonna go into a seated cross row. Now, if you just added weight, you're probably gonna wanna drop it back down a little bit, maybe closer to that starting weight that you had. Now, what I'm gonna do for this lift is I'm gonna 
cross over these handles in front of me. And I might try to slide to the back of the machine here or close to it. And this is gonna be a longer set here where we're gonna alternate doing a rowing motion here where we bring the weight back to our chest, hold it for a fraction of a second, and then slowly release. And as we're in this fully released position, that's when we start the next rep on the other side. So no counting on this one here. Just take it nice and smooth. Sit up nice and tall and exhale as you pull the weight back. Control this weight through the whole motion. And as soon as tension's getting light on one side, start pulling with the other. Ten more seconds. Okay. We're gonna be doing two more of those. I'm gonna grab a drink of water though. I've got a nice sweat going already. Okay team, let's get in position here. Grab these handles, let's slide back. Get ready to go. Exhale as you're pulling back, control the weight, and switch sides. Focus on your breathing and your technique throughout this whole lift here. Really smooth pulling motions here. And that long isometric pause in that fully extended position. Okay, we got one more set of these and then we're moving to our tricep kickback. Tricep kickback is definitely a tough lift. You might need to drop the weight a little bit, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, let's get in position, crossing over those handles again. And when you cross over this time, I want you to have the other hand on top, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, just go with it, do what you got. Extremely smooth reps here. Tuck that elbow back as far as you can take it. You got 20 more seconds of this lift here. This lift always feels really easy at the start in the first set. But by the time we're here, things get real tough. Okay. Whew, nice. Tricep extensions here, or tricep kickback here. Now for this lift, again, you might need to adjust the weight setting. I think I'm gonna keep the weight setting the same. My outer arm is gonna hold on to this handle here. Inner arm is gonna be on the crossbar. And then I got one foot on the ground, one foot on the, the bench here. I'm gonna be leaning forward and I'm kind of flaring this elbow out. And then I'm gonna be extending my arm in this quarter circle motion here. And we do nice and smooth and slow reps here, just like this. And I should be getting a big squeeze in the back of my arm there. So everybody join me here. We got 35 seconds on each side here. That's three. 
four, five. Just a quarter circle motion, that's six. Try to keep your elbow in the middle of that circle, that's seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nicely done. Switching sides. All right, let's get this tricep isolation work continued. One arm on the crossbar, one arm tucked back, and bring it back, exhale as you do. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to keep that arm steady. Nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Whew. One more on each side. Shake it out if you need to. Get in position, y'all. Let's go extend it back. That's one, two, three. Four, really work those triceps, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, and twelve. Whew. Okay, one more of these, and then we're gonna be moving into those mountain climbers. So get ready to grab that yoga mat. Let's get in position, five seconds. Tuck that elbow back and extend. Here we go, that's one, two, three. Slow reps here, four. I know you can go faster. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nicely done. Okay. Got to move my camera angle a little bit here as I go into this next set. So we are going to be doing mountain climbers here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this handle here and put one foot through it. And then I'm going to get into a plank position here. You could have your arms up or you could have your arms down so you're on your elbows. I'm gonna to try to stay up here for this whole thing. And then I'm gonna take this leg and bring it into this high knee position here. Stretch it all the way out and then bring it up. So we're just gonna stretch out and crunch it in. So here we go, let's go. This is gonna be one, two, three. You can also start in this fully push-up position, and then move into a plank. At six, feel a nice crunch in your abs here. There's eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so I didn't have a lot of time to talk about positioning here. You can see 
I'm getting in this plank position here past the end of my bow flex. If you're a little bit shorter though, you're gonna need to bring it in closer to the bow flex, of course. I'm gonna just be now hooking up my other leg here. And we're gonna be moving in that exact same lift on the other side. So push up or plank position here, leg stretched out and now bring it in, hold it for a sec and then release. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay. We got two more of those to go. And we're well over halfway through this routine. So if you're struggling with this, just give me your best effort and stick with me. You know, you're going to come back to this routine and you're going to get better and better at this stuff. So give it your best effort here. This is one, two, because that's how you're going to get stronger is just keep trying and work yourself, you know, go to failure if you need to. That's how you're going to build muscle. So we're up to six here. That's seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Who? I'm knocking myself out here. Okay, let's get ready to go. One more set of these. And now again, if you're really struggling with this, if you can't complete these, try just holding a plank without, you know, the leg pull in here. That's gonna be one, two, or you could start with the leg pulls, three, four, five. This is such a challenging exercise, six. Working kind of your upper body here. And that crunch, that's seven. Eight. Nine. 10. 11. And 12. Ooh. Bicep curls up next. Let's get the camera back. There we go. And now we're here into bicep curls. I'm actually gonna do some reverse curls today. I feel like changing it up a bit. Reverse curls, the only thing that's different, I'm facing away from the tower. I might be leaning forward a bit as I do these. So leaning forward just a tad, and then my curl this weight up, and then slowly drop it back down. So again, leaning forward a bit, and the further you get away from the tower, the harder these reps are gonna be. Here we go. Let's curl it up, that's one. Two. Exhale as you're curling up, that's three. Four, try to keep your elbow locked in place at your side, that's four, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we're going to have 
one more bicep curl. And we've got two exercises left after that. So six sets in total. What are you, we're at the 75% completion mark. There's no quitting now. Let's get in position. Let's go, curl it up, that's one. To try to hold it in this fully curled position, that's three for about a second. Four. Five. Six. All right, we're not doing much bicep work, so we gotta make this count here. This is eight, we got four more reps. Nine. 10. 11. And 12. Okay. Moving into a pullover crunch here. A lot of people can actually add more weight for this exercise, so keep that in mind. Let's, I'm gonna demo this lift. I want you to give it a try really quick before you, before this timer ticks down. We're gonna have our arms up here, and then we're gonna bring these handles down to our thighs as we raise our shoulders off of the bench here, and then we're gonna hold it for a fraction of a second. So these arms will then point up towards the ceiling, and then back down towards those thighs, raising up, get a nice crunch, and then release it back. I think I might take these ones really slow. We're gonna be doing 10 reps here. Go nice and slow with me here. Raise up, hold it, hold it, hold it, and back, that'd be one. Hold, and two. Three. Four. Get those shoulders off of the bench, that's five. Six. Seven, hold that crunch. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right, nice job, ladies. I don't know if you can tell, but my Bowflex is creaking really, really badly today. It is uh, every rep. Hopefully that calms down a bit here. All right, let's get in position here. Arms up, down to the thighs, hold it for a sec, and release. That's one, two, three, Four, exhale, and as you're bringing the weight down to your thighs, it's five, hold it. Six, seven, eight, there is no way you don't hear this machine. Nine, and 10, oh. I feel like my machine is, it's like a horse going, nay, right behind me with every rep. <laughs> this is kind of, kind of ridiculous, really. <sighs> you know, I've worked out on these machines so much. Let's go ahead and get in position. But I can't seem to figure out where to apply like some WD-40 to make that noise stop. This is two, three, four. At some point, I wanna record a, a video that's like maintaining your Bowflex <laughs> once I figure this stuff out. That's six, seven, eight, nine, And 10. All right, y'all. Enough with all that neighing and squealing of my machine. 
we're moving into the last lift and this is gonna be a different one called a wide lat raise. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab these handles here and I'm gonna be facing away from the tower just like I was for my bicep curls. And I'm gonna be raising these handles up, right? I need to drop my weight a little bit. I'm going down to 50 pounds of power rods on both sides here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be holding these and there's gonna be a counting or a timer ticking down here. Eight seconds where I'm gonna hold this up and I'm gonna wait until this eight seconds expires and then we're gonna release the weight here. So hold this up for eight seconds and drop. Now, as soon as this goes again, raise it back up. If you have high blood pressure, I would just want you to do normal reps here though. And drop. And let's raise it back up. Hold it for eight seconds. Arms all the way outstretched and drop. We got one more here. And raise it back up. Okay. We're gonna have one more set just like that once this 30 seconds ticks down. So I said, if you have high blood pressure, I just want you doing normal reps. Doing these long isometric holds with high blood pressure is just, um, it, it increases your blood pressure even further. So you kind of want to stay away from that, but this is a nice lift to finish with these isometric holds. So we're gonna be raising this up again here in three seconds. Again, those eight seconds on, hold it up. Keep holding, you got this. And now let's drop, catch your breath. And let's raise it back up. Hold for eight seconds, you got this. And drop it down, we got two more, two more reps like that. Raise them up. And drop. Final rep of the day. Let's go team, hold it up. And there we go. All right, excellent job on finishing this routine. Let's remove our power rods from tension and you can wrap them up with a bungee cord or Velcro or whatever you got. Great job on finishing and I wanna say thank you to all my Elite Ko-Fi members. They make creating routines like this possible and sustainable for me because at times I feel like Bowflex kinda of left us hanging when you know we bought these machines but there's no content to follow along with, no routines to do. They just give you a list of exercises and told you to figure it out. And that's what I'm trying to do here is create these routines for everybody and uh, I hope you're benefiting from them and if you're interested in supporting content like this, check out those links in the description and I'm sure you're gonna get something out of them. There are these programs that you can follow along that are going to help you achieve your fitness goals. So check that out. And uh, I, again, I want to say thanks everybody for joining me. Be proud of yourself for finishing. We'll see you next time and be good to yourself, be good to others.